Hi, I'm Sarah from ST Microelectronics, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2025 on the ST Microelectronics booth with Camille. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Camille. Uh, so we were just talking about imaging sensors from ST and how they are in millions of smartphones all around the world. But today, I believe you'd like to talk about something a bit different. Exactly, Sarah. So let me take the, this mock up of frame glasses. So today I want to talk about AR glasses, which are really booming uh, right now. So more and more glasses uh, like those uh, coming, uh, coming in the market. Yeah. And, um, in terms of sensors, we have integrated in this demo um, a global shutter for eye tracking. Okay. It's important uh, because if you want to adapt the, for instance, the display that's going to be integrated inside the inside the glasses, then you need to know where is the user looking at. Yeah. So that's really important. Basically, eye movement and detecting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So eye movement. And traditional way, it's just to show a normal image of your eyes moving. Yeah. But what we added to this sensor is a differential mode. So that's really convenient because it allows um, the sensor to output a classical frame, but only with the a difference that you can have inside uh, inside the, the movement. So yeah. only yeah. highlighting really the movement. Yeah. So if you look a bit here, so here we have the normal image, and here we have really the image difference that I was talking about. And when I move a little bit the, those uh, big ugly eyes, then they we can are see the. Ugly, yes. <laughs> So we can see really the, the eye movement yeah. over there. Like this is it, it's kind of lighting up when they move basically. Yeah. So and this is what's being sent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in terms of because I think what you were mentioning before was what you the way we see people having these glasses they're going to basically be like the glasses that you're wearing today. Yes. Like we don't want to compromise the design and the weight yeah. of the glasses. So and also we don't want to charge the glasses like yeah. more than once a day or once a week. Yeah, once a week would be amazing. Uh, once a week would be the perfect. Yes. So they need, the sensor that we integrate inside the glasses, they really need to be the shadow of power. Yeah. And with this uh, differential mode that we are showcasing here, yeah. we really took the things uh, a bit further sure. because not only the sensor is low power, mm -hmm. but also the, the, the data that we are uh, sending to the processor, so the image processor that, has, that is uh, away from the sensor. Yeah then it has less data to compute. Absolutely, so this yeah. means less power consumption for the whole system. Yeah, okay, so you're optimizing things everywhere, basically. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and so you were mentioning there's some kind of fairly specific applications that you have in mind for these kind of glasses. Yes, so as I mentioned, uh, you will have displays integrated inside the glasses. Yeah. So if you want to, uh, like for instance, if you're visiting Barcelona. Yes. Beautiful city. And you don't, but you don't want to look like a lost tourist. No, you don't. <laughs> so, uh, what you could do is uh, have your navigating system yeah. integrated inside the glasses. So yes. it will just show you exactly where to go. Like for instance, uh, an arrow could be a uh, highlight uh, the exact streets you want to go into. Okay, so going left, going right, it sees where your eyes are looking, and so on. And yeah, and so yeah, this is a street. Yeah, which is really handy because sometimes you don't necessarily want people to know that you don't know where you're going. <laughs> As a woman, sometimes yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds that sounds fabulous, actually. I know that you also have another uh, yes. application that you would like to show us, showcase around yes. imaging sensors. Exactly. So we can go move around this uh, on the other this, side of the pod. Yes, exactly. Okay. The VR headset that we have. Okay, let's go. Yep. So Camille, here we are on the other side of the booth, and it's a whole new world. Yes, exactly, Sarah. So I've, for you. I've put on I've put on the uh, Vario XR4 headset. Yeah. And so here you can see you can see over there. So it's looking at my eyes, and I've, uh, I'm gonna do the the calibration. So I'm following the the green dot, and then it's adapting. So now it knows exactly where I am looking at. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can dive into a painting. Yeah, let's do that. So here you can still see my eyes and you're going to be able to see what I see. So oh, here I am uh, in a gallery and if I look around I can see the space and everything. So when I look at the earth it's really, I mean it's really crisp, it's really nice. Okay, Let's okay. maybe dive in into the Mona Lisa. 
So I'm really diving into the painting. This is fascinating because we're seeing your eyes. Oh yes. my goodness, okay, so now we're in the painting with you. Exactly. So like we have the Mona Lisa right over there. It's so it's, good. I mean, for me, the, the image is really crisp, so that's really nice. And when I look at the mountains be, behind uh, them, it's as well, it's just following my eyes, so it's really crisp as well. Okay. Yeah. And, and this is with the, the sensors that are doing the eye tracking, right? Yes. So same thing when I, when I look over there, yeah, so, so the eye tracking system is done with uh, our 55G0 uh, sensor. Right. So it's, yeah, it's really nice. And then when I move around, it's, it knows that I'm moving around. So that's also made with our uh, sensor uh, that are doing the six stuff. How is that happening? Because you were mentioning before about motion Yes, yeah, so, so when, yeah. I, when I put my hand like this, you can see the, I mean, on the image you see, you only see it's uh, moving, but yes. like, and uh, also when I move a bit like this, it's, oh, yeah, I right. mean, everything is moving with me. And I don't get motion uh, sick, so that's, that's really nice. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna come back to you, uh, Sarah. Yes, okay. <laughs> back to reality. Yes, indeed. This way. Okay, so Kevin, sorry, I'm going to ask you to pick it up again because I know we've got loads of sensors in there. Let's have a look and see. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. So on that. this uh, center that you can buy on the market, so we have uh, four uh, sensors over there that are doing this, uh, the six dust, so six degrees of freedom. That's what I was uh, showing you when I moved my sure. head around. Okay. And we also have two ALS sensors over there that are doing the, the color for the, for the see-through display. Okay. And inside of them, we have... So here we have two of our sensors uh, to do the eye tracking. Okay, so, so this is what you were mentioning about the distance and the crisp mountains and Yes, so on. exactly. So I guess the last question that people probably want to know is, um, are they available? Mass market? How yes. How do they get their hands on them? Exactly. So all those sensors are available in the mass market. So you can uh, find out more about them in, uh, at st.com. Okay, thank you very much, Camille. Thank you, Sarah. This demo is really interesting. I'm going to try this out after the video. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Sarah. You too. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, everybody, have a good day. Bye bye.